Dun, 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 dun. We are back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Alicia, and I'm hitting you guys with another banger. Let's hop into these ingredients. We're making manwich today, guys. I get the dick and chunky kind. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Some canola oil for our fries and some crinkle cut fries. I just get the food line bread. We got two pots here, a skillet, and one little one for our um, french fries there. Be sure to put that grease on high, guys, so that um, grease can warm up while we're cooking. Throwing in that ground beef now. It is kind of disgusting handling it, so if you're a beginner, just fl literally flip it in there and season it in there. Sometimes I uh, ball it up, kind of like mush it up inside the thing and put the seasoning through it, but I found it works either way, really, when you're cooking it through. We're going to cook the meat on high. Now, right here, you guys want to definitely check the temperature for our french fries. You don't want it to be um, not warm and have soggy fries in there. And at the same time, you don't want to be putting cold fries in some hot, hot, hot grease. Because it will pop you and it's not going to be fun at all. So, I'm putting it down. So, you leave it on high so that it can warm up. But when you're throwing things in there, put it on like 7 just to reduce that uh, popping action there. Because it's not fun. Trust me, girlfriend. I will tell you firsthand. Okay, I still have um, what's it called? Battle scars. And you want your boil to look like this, not doing too much, not coming over to our pot, and definitely not hitting those burners. We're gonna cook it for about ten to twelve minutes. I love French fries, guys. What's your favorite dipping sauce? In the comments below, let me know what's your favorite. I like ranch. And we are separating this ground beef. Now, mine comes apart kind of easy because I do thaw mine um, overnight just to make sure. Not overnight. Well, it could be overnight. Like, I take it out overnight and make it throughout the day. Or I'll take it out during the day and, like, by the afternoon, cook it. Making sure when we're browning that meat, we have no pink pieces. Pink means not good. It's not done. Boom. And this is what your beef should look like after about five to six minutes, really, of cooking. It cooks pretty fast. Um, as the juice starts to come, definitely keep that fire low if it's popping you. We definitely don't want that. Now that it's all done, I'm going to put it on a low simmer before I put that um, sauce in there. We got another slotted spoon. No cross-contamination, guys. But this one is going to be for the french fries. You just want to pick it up. You're going to hear like a little hessing sound. But uh, this video doesn't have any sound. It's just me. But you should hear your fries when they're about ready if the tips don't really tell you. And we're going to move it to that napkin over there, guys. That is your, like, go-to for French fries. If you don't want soggy fries, you need a plate with a napkin on it to really drain that excess oil off of there. Oh, I love them. They look so good, and they work. Alrighty. And we're going to drain them juices. Again, when we got manage left over, those juices left up there with that sauce, it really looks like little globs of white stuff, and we don't like that. So just drain all that juice out. Again, I got thick and chunky. I do, um, I have tried bold, and I have tried the regular, original kind, and they're both good, but this one was pretty, pretty good. I love the thick and chunkiness about it in there. I think they had a little bit of peppers mixed in. You can't really see it from this angle, but yeah. Another thing I would normally add that I didn't add in this video would be sugar. And that's just to cut down like the acidity. Um, I think that's acidity in the tomato to reduce heartburn. But I didn't have it this time. So your girl had to make do. <sighs> I know. Yes. I'm putting my buns in the oven, guys. When I don't get nature's own bread for some reason, I feel like I have to warm it up to make sure it's that same softness. So I got two methods for you here. We got sloppy joe with cheese and french fries for the side and then method two is coming up. But let's talk about this one. And when they say that it's supposed to be sloppy, they mean that it's supposed to be sloppy, okay? It's okay to get a little messy with this one. It's okay to overfill those buns. It's supposed to be like this. It's all right, I promise. And the cheese I'm using today is just some mild cheddar cheese. Normally I use like the really, really thin slice um, mixture of cheddar cheddar sharp cheddar cheddar chopped cheddar and um, mozzarella but this time I just used what I had boom and there you have it well not really because the greedy ass that I was cooking for wanted another one so here's another one for you guys just in case you missed that uh demonstration on how to make that I mean, this meal, guys, is really a deal. When I say, like, it's really cost-effective, the manwich sauce is about a buck. The french fries, um, they were on a sale for probably about $2. And the buns were $0.89. Cent. So we're talking about a good value for a, probably a, roughly about 5 bucks, including the $2 in cheese. So what, 2 
three, four, they had like four to six books. And it feeds about six to eight people, really. And there you have it. I mean, you can't beat that. How fast is that? For us people that are always on the go or people who work too much. I mean, how easy is this to throw together? And so cost effective. For seven bucks, normally you only get one meal. But for this about seven bucks, you would be getting a whole meal. I know I said four six to seven dollars, but it's up there. You get I like to do it with a little bit of chips here. And today we got the fiery habanero lace chips to go with it. And it was a perfect combination so, whichever you guys like i do want to thank you for subscribing thank you so much for supporting me it means the world you guys are the best um keep supporting me and you know stay tuned